Hello everyone and welcome back to Top Picks and Skips. I am back with my Top Picks and Skips. I had mentioned to you guys in December that I wanted to start in January. And now that we have almost 99.9% .9 sure that the contractor is basically done with our home, I will not have any interruptions coming in here. So I am back to posting these on Fridays. I've also mentioned that this is kind of like a therapy to me if you watched my low buy update. So I am here to share with you guys some top picks and skips. Obviously, I just started doing this, so I just picked out a few things that caught my attention, wanted to talk to you guys about. I have been completely out of the loop because I've been so busy with the house, but I still wanted to start the series. Um, I hope you guys had a wonderful week and I hope you guys are enjoying my uploads. I wanted to mention in this video that I'm going to aim for five to six videos a week. You'll definitely see something Monday through Friday. Sometimes on a Sunday, I'm going to try not to post too much on Saturdays just to give myself a break. But if I'm having a bad week, it'll be five videos, four to five videos. If I'm having a great week, you'll get six videos. And I'm going to try to stick to six videos just because I enjoy and I have so much to talk to you guys about and so much to share. So I just wanted to mention that here. So obviously you're here for topics and skips, so let's get right into it. Alrighty then, the first thing I want to talk to you guys about is The Ordinary. It is officially at Sephora. It is back in stock on Sephora. I don't know what the deal was um, with the CEO. I know there was some drama with him and they took down The Ordinary. We were wondering if they were going to come back with it and what we were doing. And apparently it is back and there are more than 50 new products in development for 2019. So just wanted to let you guys know if you are a fan of The Ordinary, it is back at Sephora. I personally have never tried anything from The Ordinary. But I may try something out because they are pretty inexpensive. We have a new highlighter from Becca that is no surprise since Becca tends to always release something. And this is the Lunar New Year um, highlighter. It's, it has a pig design on it. It's $38. It is a soft peachy pink pigment blended with gold and silver pearls. That sounds divine. Honestly, that just sounds like the perfect highlighter to me. It is limited edition, which sucks. Uh, I just like peachy highlighters and it has gold and silver, which I think is awesome. This is something I'd be interested in maybe for Valentine's Day. I don't know how long. Becca tends to hold things for a very long time, even though they are limited edition. So I'm curious to see if this is going to be a limited edition for 2019, basically around the whole year. Now we have Milani. Milani has been doing a lot since I've been away. Milani is on, uh, they are releasing two things. The first one is a foundation stick in 20 shades, $9.99. And it's supposed to be full coverage, natural matte finish, weightless formula, made with bamboo powder to absorb oil. Truthfully and honestly, guys, every time that Milani comes out with a foundation, I always get it. That's one of the drugstore brands that I always find that all of their foundations work with me. The last foundation, which was the conceal and something or other priming, I can't remember what it was. My sister took both of mine and she loves it. She actually just spoke to me about it a week ago saying how much she loves that foundation and she's almost running out of it. So I don't have that foundation. I'm almost done with two of my collection. So I'm going to allow myself to get this because I've always wanted to try a stick foundation, but I never actually have purchased one and I may use my budget for this because I really would like it and I don't have many foundations honestly. The other Milani product I want to mention to you guys is a new Conceal Perfect Long Wear Concealer in 18 shades for $9. Again, I think they do concealers very well. This is in a wand. It kind of reminds me of the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. It looks really pretty. It will be available in stores in January and I kind of like it. I really do. So, oh, those two things I might use my budget for. We'll see how that goes. An indie brand. It's Dulzura Cosmetics. Um, I don't know if that video will be up next week or it already came, went up, but I did a 2019 uh, brands that I want to try. And this is one of the brands. And they have this really nice Sleepless Nights glitter bundle. These look really beautiful. The, the glitters look really, really cool and nice. I don't know how eye safe it is, but it looks so nice. I would be interested in this, definitely. It's super beautiful. Another indie brand I want to mention to you guys. It's Oh My Glitter OMG. 
It is the New Mermaid Multi-Chrome Pigments. Multi-Chrome and Pigments right there are my best friends. There's four shades and they look stunning. It's like that orangey pink, then you have the greenish yellow, then you have like a green purple shade and a pinky purple. Very, very pretty, very interesting. I really liked it. I'm pretty sure they're already sold out, honestly, because these look really nice. Everybody's in full swing trying to take advantage of the Lunar New Year situation. So this is a new Hourglass uh, Ambient Lighting Blush for 2019. It is called the Vivid Flush. This is a really pretty color. Very different, very unique um, from what I personally own. It doesn't say that it is limited edition. It is already available. It's $38, but it is a very, very pretty blush. And I own two Hourglass blushes and they just are beautiful on the skin. They really are. So I personally feel like they are worth it. If you're looking for a really good blush with a sheen, but not shimmer, and you don't like a matte, and you have mature skin or problematic skin or scarring and things, I think they are a great brand to try out. Viseart has done it again. This is a beautiful palette. This is the new Viseart eyeshadow palette called the Koi Palette. It's bright colors, prismatic hues, seen through water. It is $80. I tend to wait until there's a sale because that is pretty expensive and mama's on a budget. But it's pretty. This is all shimmery shades. There is no metallics in this one. But I do like it because it is different and unique for Viseart. And it would be something I would love. And I love their formula. And it has glitter fluxes in it. Ugh. Why do they do this to me every time? What mild. Wedge and Wild is coming out with a jelly-like formula that dries to a polish powder finish. Oh goodness, they have a primer, a highlighter, and eyeshadow pots. I would love to try the highlighter and the eyeshadow pots. Eyeshadow pots are $5, they come in seven shades, and then $8 for the highlighter. And it looks like it's only in one shade, but I, woo, this is gonna be tough, cause goodness, why do they do this? These are like glitter shadows. Yes, these are like my Butter London. These are like my Butter London I already own, but they're so pretty. Ugh, move on, Alex. Last but not least that I want to share with you guys is Neutrogena. They're coming out with single eyeshadows and matte and shimmery finishes, a prep and correct primers, Hydro Boost Eliminators, and Hydro Boost Foundation. They are coming soon. Here's the deal with Neutrogena. Let me just, you know, stand on my soapbox. I feel like Neutrogena tries, and I feel bad for them. I feel like they're that one person that wants to be noticed, but just doesn't do it the right way, and then comes out awkward, and then nobody cares to even look at them again when they try to do it again, and I feel like that's what Neutrogena does. I have yet to find one person that has been head over heels a Neutrogena eyeshadow formula and has raved about it. I think every time I see somebody purchase a new Neutrogena eyeshadow, it just, just never goes well. It really never goes well. Please correct me if I'm wrong because I just never really see anybody love and enjoy and recommend a Neutrogena eyeshadow. Maybe a face product like a blush, a powder, a foundation, even a primer or a lip product because I love the Neutrogena moisture sticks. But when it comes to their eyeshadows, I'm sorry, I don't trust them, I don't believe them, I don't think that they're going to be any good, and I personally am going to steer away from them. If these come out and they are actually good, I would be shocked. Even the packaging to me looks boring. It's just, it looks so old school, it reminds me of like my grandmother's makeup. She would pick this out. It's very simple and blah. And I know that might be something that they're going for, but not for me. That's it, guys. It's a very quick and easy top picks and skips this week. Just because I'm getting into the groove, let me get back into my groove, and then I'll get better at it and better at it. So thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I will link and list everything down in the description box. Thank you for all of your support. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend, and I'll probably catch you guys with a new video on Sunday. Don't forget that a smile is the best makeup a girl can wear. Bye, guys.